with uh, Dave Nussbaum. Dave, you're keeping an eye on the radar, and what can we expect heading into the weekend? Well, for tonight, first of all, dry conditions out there, but Ben, it's going to be another cold one out there. A live look downtown from our BJCC camera, and real pretty there. We are looking at temperatures currently coming in 39 degrees here in town. Fortunately, calm winds, another frosty night expected across the area, too. How about 32 in Jasper now to 39 fit? 43, a little bit milder with some cloud cover in Hamilton. Coleman at 34 with 31 in Gadsden and mid 30s there from Alabaster to Clanton back toward Alex City. You can see a little more cloud cover up in Hamilton. That's why your temperatures are a little bit higher than the rest of us, which have some clear conditions out there for the moment. With high pressure moving away from us, that clockwise flow will bring in those southerly winds, hoping to warm us up tomorrow. But we're going to watch a disturbance coming out of the southwest here across Mexico and Texas. Combine that with our front to the north, and that's going to help to bring us some wet weather in the next 24 hours. So for tonight, looks like quiet weather, some cloud cover temperatures get down to the lower 30s here by tomorrow morning and then eventually warming back up with some sunshine mixed with the clouds tomorrow. But 29 from Gadsden back to Asheville, 31 to Coleman, 34 here to Tuscaloosa, Hamilton fade around 32 degrees, same for Alabaster and Clanton. And then tomorrow try to do a little yard work. Not too bad out there, 50s to lower 60s, dry conditions during the day tomorrow. So during the day, we're looking at fine weather. We'll get in the lower 60s upper 50s and spots out there as well too. About 61 degrees right on par for us for this time of year. But the chance rain increases Thursday night through Friday and Saturday there at 80% before decreasing Sunday and then we do dry out as we head into next week. There's a low risk for a strong to severe storm. I really don't think we'll see much here. I think it's going to be more toward Montgomery south where they have the better chance. That's where the better instability is as a warm front moves up here from the south and that's going to be where those bigger storms will be. But if we do get one to pop up out there, it could produce maybe some gusty winds around 60 miles per hour. So we'll keep an eye out for that. But again, I think South Alabama has the better chance. So tomorrow at 7 p.m. We'll kind of fast forward here. This is when we're starting to see some of those storms building up across the area. So do be prepared for a little wet weather then. Now you see some more storms overnight into Friday morning. Friday morning commute definitely going to be quite stormy out there. This line will push to the south here and eventually we'll see some more rain uh, kind of down in toward Montgomery by 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock in the evening. Then overnight another wave comes in Friday night into Saturday morning, producing some heavier downpours at times. That'll move over into Georgia. So by during the afternoon for the SEC championship game in Atlanta, we are going to see some wet weather out there. Good thing that the game is played indoors. Then another wave comes through Sunday morning, and that's about it. By Sunday afternoon, we start to dry things out and things look better. But check out the rain totals. Much need of rain here for the drought. About an inch and a half of rain here in Birmingham, maybe up to three inches in Montgomery to four inches in Dothan. So this will definitely put a nice dent in our drought. How about for the SEC championship game? Well, again, good thing it's played indoors. 90% chance for rain at 3.30 kickoff. Temperatures right around 60 degrees for that game. So for tonight, down to 34 degrees here in town. Mostly clear, definitely cold out there. So bundle up tomorrow, 61 degrees. Partly cloudy, mild, breezy day out there with the rain returning as we head to the overnight into Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday. Temperatures not bad, though, in the upper 60s before we start to cool down by the middle part of next week with plenty.